Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Blind Play... Let's Blind Play Chrono Trigger. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and apparently I can't talk this episode. Uh, we'll fight these bug things. Bug. Oh, that's a simple name. Bug. They're like... Stupid enemies that don't do anything. Why do I have to fight these guys? What did the bug ever do to me, man? Well, it did attack me, so I guess I have every right to kill it now. And in comes Chrono with the fly swatter. What the? Is that the hypno bug? Is it kind of like the hypno toad? Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, yo. Third episode in a row. Let's do this. Actually, I'm gonna put the ribbon back on her. Let's try the rage band on him. What in the world? Well, that was easy, but I want to know what the rest of this place is like. Oh. I guess they'll start a fight. I think it just, like, lifts the fog. when they do an ability. Wow. That is exceptionally powerful to the rats. And then she bonks it and kills it. Great. Ah, uh, Not these guys. I think abilities are the only things that hit him, and even then, World didn't hit him, so. Hmm. Your whirring noise is getting on my nerves, so we'll just fight you. I just, I still don't even know what year this is. I just remembered that. Mm -hmm. 
These guys are easy to kill. Then again, they are like regular enemies, so... Nothing. Unless that thing uses, like, the very same password. I wish this had a system like Earthbound where you got an auto-kill if something, like, would have died. Oh, it is the same password. What is the door thing? I'm never going to figure that out. So this is the info center. Good. The computer's still operational. If we run a search on time warps, we might find our gate. Here, got it. Luca, you're such a genius. East of Ara's Dome. That would be Protodome, I believe. Leave it to Luca. I'm beginning to think you could find anything with this device. Say, what does this button do? No! No, DD, no! Nineteen ninety-nine AD? Visual record of the day of Lavos. I know that name. Nineteen ninety-nine AD. So that's you, huh? That's... What is that? Lavos? Is that what's destroying our world? We must truly be in the future. No, no way, I refuse to believe it. This... This can't be the way the world ends. Chrono. There's only one thing we can do. We must change history. Just like Chrono did when he saved me. Okay, Luca? Okay, Chrono? I guess so. It was a stroke of luck that we were sent here through that gate. Chrono, let's go. Sure. Chrono, Luca, Luca, together we can do this. Let's take a second and do some more research on Lavos' activities back in our time period. Next stop, Protodome. With renewed vigor, the party moves forward. And I'm not fighting all you stupid fucks again. Because I have no fucks to give you. You guys, on the other hand, I'm not sure if I can skip. Wait, wait. Yes! Skip all the monsters! So we're beyond 1999 AD. You're back. Well, what did you discover? This is our future. Who cares? Where's the food? This is all we could get. Seeds. You don't know how long the... In 
you don't know how long the Intertron will hold out. Those seeds might be your only hope. You have to stay alive, and so do we. Huh. You're strange. You're different from us. I think it's because we're healthy. Hell, Healthy? Got a nice ring to it. We'll try growing the seeds. What are those? They just might be our future. Heading for Protodome? Go by way of Laboratory 32 and take this with you. Got one bike key. That's what I needed. It's a key to the jet bike in Lab 32. I used to ride it when I was young. Hope it still works. They've got more powerful robots over there. Take care and stay healthy. Wow. Can't get near it. Oh, yeah. You say the same thing. Let's go ahead and rest in the Intertron. Eating those seeds sounds like such an asshole idea. But it sounds good. <laughs> I just ate your future. It was delicious. Okay, so I'll have to do that robot battle again. Which is no biggie. Or, no. There we go. Okay, never mind. I was wondering when they'd show up. Hold it right there. What? What? Hey, it's... The man! Like, thanks for the intro, babe. What? The man! You low lives can call me Johnny. Now listen up. Part of an old highway leads through these ruins. Think you can beat me in a bike race? Use that jet bike and don't chicken out, babe. Do you know how to ride? No. Alright, listen up. The gas is on auto, so there's only one speed. Fast. Use the control pad to steer. Press the B button for a turbo boost. I'll give you three of them, but it takes a moment to recharge between boosts. Check your position at the bottom of the screen. Now show me what you got, babe. Hmm. Some of them Mode 7 graphics. Stay behind me. That was actually fairly easy. And now I win like Mario Kart. Yay! You beat me? I don't get it. You can challenge me anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. Cool. I like you. Well, that was very easy. Factory. Oh, no, not another one of these things. Oh, you're one of those. Why, hello there, scum. Super high defense.
I bet if I did an ability or something, it would kill you in one hit. If I do it again, I bet I find another slime or another acid. Nope. Hmm. I guess I'm not supposed to come through here yet. Nope. The password thing didn't work. Holding L and R and hitting A. Well, let's look around before I go into Protodome. Might develop a proto complex. Ah! Previous LP episode reference. Oh, come on, kill it. Thank you. Chrono has leveled up. Four of them? I don't want to deal with this. Chrono's speed is, like, ridiculous. Like, he gets turns like crazy. Oh, nice! Counterattack. Worked. At least I know the rage band works. Oh, Inertron here. Neat. What's this? It's in bad shape, but it appears to be a humanoid robot. Incredible. Luca, what are you doing? I think I can fix it. Why would you want to fix a robot? What? It might attack us. I'll make sure it won't. Machines aren't capable of evil. She does have a point. First law of robotics, Isaac Asimov. A robot cannot harm a human. And the reason for that is because if a robot harms a human, obviously there was another person behind that. Robots can only do what they're programmed to do. So, yeah. And if a robot's programmed to guard something and you go in an area and it doesn't, then obviously and it kills you, somebody else said it to do that. Thus, robots actually can't kill people. I mean, they can. It has to be somebody else's doing to do it. Isaac Asimov, you're so damn brilliant. Humans make them that way. I just said that! In more elaborate terms. Luca, you pity them, don't you? Let me get it to work now, okay? She's really going to work on this thing. The door won't budge. Right, that does it. I'm going to give it some juice. It's haywire. Or not. Good morning. Mo Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress. I'm Marl. And this is Chrono. And Luca here fixed you. Understood. Madam Luca fixed me. Just Luca will do. Impossible. That would be rude. It has manners! Look, I hate formal titles. Don't you, Marl? Hate them. 
I understand, Luca. Ah! <laughs> well, that works. All right, now what's your name? Name? Uh, my serial number. It's it is R six six dash Y. R six six dash Y. Cool. No, that won't do it all. Come on, Chrono. Let's give him a better name. Robo. Wait, party member? Oh yeah, Robo. I remember you now. Robo. Robo. That's perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? I am Robo. Data storage complete. Hey, Robo, why aren't there any people here? What What has happened here? There were many humans and others of my kind in this dome. I think something awful happened here. It would appear so. But how is it that you survived? We came through a time warp from the year 1000. While exploring RS Dome, we learned there was a gate here. We found you when we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chambers is locked, so we're out of luck. The power is off. If we go to the factory up north, I can pass through security and activate this dome's generator. You'd do that for us? You repaired me. Now it's my turn to help you. But the generator won't run for long, so someone must stay behind to open the door while its power is on. Then Marl or I will stay. I'll have Luca stay because I need uh, Marl as a healer. Alright, so what are you capable of, Robo, here? Tin arm? <laughs> Iron helm. Titan vest, huh? My god, your defense is like incredible what is a defender vigor plus two. oh 235 HP no speed um, and no evasion I believe you sir are my tank if frog wasn't speaking of I wonder what he's doing Oh, he's dead. That's right. I'm in the future. Alright. Actually, what kind of abilities do you have? Cure Beam. Oh my god, you have a heal? Luca, come back! Wait, hang on. What's your AP look like? Or MP, rather. Rocket Pump. Luca! Marl can stay. Hang on a sec. Let me see how long I've been recording for. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I finally saw... Excuse me. Finally saw the day. 2300, huh? Override security system zero zero. There's that stupid acid. Let's see what rocket punch does. <laughs> that was kind of cool. And it does reduce damage on abilities, I guess. Wow! Ten exactly. Oh, these are those things in it. Oh, no, debugger. Nice crit- or, uh, counter.
he'll just walk up and punch it. Who leveled? Was it Robo or Luca? Hey, it was Luca. Let's take this elevator thing. Oh boy. Huh. Oh man, okay, as soon as those things come back through. Damn it! I'm gonna have to fight, aren't I? I do know that it's getting close to time, so... Yeah! One ether. Apparently I move faster than the robots do. Obviously, I'm meant to run backwards through this. Oh. Proto 3, huh? Oh boy, 256 HP. Laser spin. Dual tech rocket roll. Oh, now that sounds cool. I want to see this rocket roll. It didn't kill anything. These things have a lot of HP then. That was pretty cool though. Oh god, there's more of it? Like, there's more of them. Holy crap. At least I killed one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap this up very soon.
unless this thing keeps taking me through this gauntlet or whatever. Alright, I'm gonna stop it here. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and this is Let's Blind Play Chrono Trigger. Till next time, take care and have fun.